Hi, I'm Kate Zulo, Head of Education at the Litchfield Historical Society. Do you know what I like so much about this dress I'm wearing? It has pockets. And while that may not seem like a big deal, when it comes to the history of pockets for women in Western dress, it's actually a really long and surprising story. So those earliest examples of pockets actually being sewn into clothing date all the way back until the 1600s. But those were only found in men's clothing. For women, pockets remained a separate accessory all the way up until the late 19th century. We actually have a few of these pockets in our collection. Let me show you what they would have looked like. To learn more about these pockets in our collection, watch the Society's Collection Minute video with our curatorial volunteer, Carol Jones, who specializes in textiles and clothing. For today's craft, we're going to make a pocket inspired by the ones we have in the collection. Here's what you're going to need. A template, a marker, some felt, scissors, a hole punch, yarn, a paper clip, ribbon, and paint to decorate with. The first step is to trace the template on both pieces of felt and then cut them out. Next, we're going to punch holes along the edge of the pocket. We want these holes to be about a quarter of an inch from the edge and about one inch from each other. Continue punching holes all the way around the edge of your pocket. After punching holes on one side, I'm gonna line up both sides and use a marker to mark each of the holes. This way, when I punch holes on the second side, I know where to place the holes. Once I've completed punching the holes, it's time to sew the pocket together. I'm going to use a length of yarn about three feet long and thread it onto a paper clip. I'm gonna use the paper clip a lot like a needle to help push the yarn through the holes. Starting with the hole on the flat edge of the pocket, I'm going to do a basic stitch going down through one set of holes and up through the next. Continue with this pattern until you've reached the other flat end of the pocket. Because I like the look of a continuous line, I'm going to go back the way I came. I'm going to use the same in and out stitch, but I'm gonna do it opposite as the first time, this time leaving yarn in the blank spaces. When I get to the end, I'm gonna tie a knot using the starting and ending pieces of yarn. To make it easier to fit my hand in the pocket, I'm gonna cut a slit about three inches long on the front side of my pocket. Next, I'm going to attach the ribbon to tie the pocket around my waist. I'm going to punch two holes on the front of my pocket and two holes in the back of my pocket. Using a length of ribbon long enough to easily tie around my waist, I'm going to thread from the front of the pocket to the back and then from the back of the pocket to the front. And our pocket is completed. Now it's time to decorate. I'm going to use puff paint to make sort of a floral design, but there are many options for decoration. You can use acrylic paint or glue on decorations. Really, it's your pocket, so be as creative as you want to be. And here's my completed pocket. If I wanna wear it, I'll just use the ribbon to tie it around my waist. Now I can carry anything I want in this pocket. Historically, women would carry things like keys, coins, a handkerchief, maybe a snack, kind of what you would find if you went through my purse today. And I think that's partly why I find these pockets so fascinating. They're very functional, but they're also really deeply personal, and they can tell us a lot about the lives of the women who wore them. If you make a pocket, we would love to see what you create. Maybe even tell us what you put inside of it. You can share all of that with us on social media at Litchfield History. And for a full set of instructions and more inspiration, visit our website, litchfieldhistoricalsociety.org. As always, we hope you have a wonderful craft afternoon.